Hello and welcome to day 29 of 8 Weeks with Julie and Kate. I do sound croakier today than I did yesterday, which is um great. I um, have just actually got up from uh, like 12 hours in bed. Um, so I was supposed to go to uni this afternoon, but I've woken up feeling like a bus has hit me and feeling horrible and not being able to breathe that great. So um, I felt like I was sort of getting better. And then I had to do that dance thing yesterday. Um, so I think it's knocked me around and it's um, I've gone back a bit further or something. So I um, decided to force myself just to stay in bed, sleep, see how much rest I could get. And then um, I just called in sick to class this afternoon. Yes, we have to call in sick. They're all compulsory, so um, we actually have to tell them when we're not coming. You can't just do the old um, skip a Rooney like, <laughs> like you used to be able to. Um, not that I used to be able to do when I was in defence anyway. <laughs> No, they no, they always know. Um, so I'm just getting up now. It's 2.20 in the afternoon. I was awake at 1, but um, I've just sort of been laying around and nasal spraying and the fun stuff. Um, so I'm actually going to get up and have breakfast now, only because I can stomach that and I don't really, the thought of some pork saint bao or something right now, or chicken isn't very appealing. So I'm going to go for breakfast and then... This afternoon I'll have some sort of snack. It might be some Greek yogurt and apple actually. Um, oh, I don't know, something. I'll put it up on my story. And then dinner will be um, one of the cook-ups that I spoke about. Um, I was ready to go to uni. I did have them ready to go. And I was actually planning to do some weights at the gym this morning. But that didn't happen. And I'm about to have my breakfast. So luckily... Yeah, I'm, I don't feel like doing much. I'm just going to do lay on the couch and do some uni work. But my all my little concoction of um, oat stuff is ready for breakfast. So all I have to do is throw that in the bowl and add the water. So that's really easy for me. And then there's my Aspro Clear for anyone who's from Australia or wherever you had that. Because I know we don't have it in England. Um, but that's... I always refuse to take it because I have a, like a fear of effervescent things when it comes to medicine. I absolutely hate them. But um, Aspoclear is really good. My husband's are always taken it um, to actually dry up your nose. So I'm going to do that. Um, I need a cough. I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I'm dying. Um, so that's food. It's only three meals today, I know. But um, that's what happens when you're only awake for less than half the day. <coughs> Um, to exercise right off, maybe even the walking I've been doing because it's been a fair bit, I know, has been um, a bit too much for me, but that's I've got to do that. I have to get there and back, so um, I don't have another way. There's no buses that go straight from my house, otherwise I would have just been getting them straight away. So by the time I actually walk to the bus stop, I'm halfway there, so it's a bit pointless and a waste of money. Um, my tip for day 29 is about not um, feeling like you have to do everything. And I know some have already um, revolved around this, but this one is actually about food and exercise. So, for example, I can't exercise today because I've been hit by a bus. So I can't exercise. It doesn't mean it's a write-off and then I'm going to go have M&Ms for lunch. I can still do something about it. I can recuperate. And I can healthy eat still. So that's what I'm going to do. And vice versa, if you have work lunch out or something that you can't get out of and you can't really do alternatives for healthy eating, then it doesn't mean that you just palm off the exercise. You can still do that. So it's all about making the little incremental changes and adaptations where you need to, but still trying to stick to things as closely as possible. So it's not just a free-for-all and throwing it out the window. So stick to what you can, but remembering that you don't have to be perfect with that. So that is my tip for day 29. Um, I'm going to keep it short. I've probably waffled enough already. Um, my story won't be that long today because I don't think it'll be very eventful. But this is my day 29. I'm glad you're not sharing it with me physically because it's quite boring and coffee really.
There's a lot of coughing going on. Okay, and I'll get an early night again tonight. And I've got a full day of classes tomorrow. So I'll see how it go. Hopefully today um, just picks me up that little bit because it is a, actually a really busy week with full classes and um, physio appointments and things like that. So that is my day 29.